The crisis is coming. Yvonne Evans worries there soon may not be enough nurses to work alongside her at the VA in Detroit as coronavirus infections increase. She spoke to us as a member of the American Federation of Government Employees, Local 933. The surge hasn't quite hit yet. After this holiday, I honestly believe these surges are going to really increase. The hospital in Detroit is one of six VA medical centers in Midwest cities, including Cleveland and Indianapolis, described in a federal contracting document in December as having a critical shortage of nurses due to RNs becoming infected with COVID-19, as well as requirements to self-quarantine due to confirmed or probable exposure. More than doctors, nurses spend prolonged time close to COVID patients. It's more intimate. We're changing them. We're bathing them. We're feeding them. Data we reviewed from the VA shows cases of COVID among VA employees began a sharp climb in November as infections across the country ballooned. The VA says its employee infection rate is less than 1% lower than the 6% in all healthcare systems as reported by the CDC. And while anyone who catches the virus can be sidelined, nurses out sick impacts healthcare of others. I was out for over um, three and a half months. Evans caught coronavirus in spring and still has breathing difficulty, limiting her ability to work. This virus is no joke. And as frontline healthcare workers, we're right there in the battlefield. A VA spokeswoman described the document we found as a routine request for more temporary contract nurses to help with staffing during the pandemic. Since March, the VA has hired more than 13,000 nurses. The VA declined to say whether the Midwest hospitals described as having a critical shortage got the extra help they requested, but said all VA medical centers have adequate capacity to meet current demand. We would crawl across glass to take care of our people because I love my vets. They serve this country. They protect my freedom. And that's the least I can do is to serve them. That's it. You're vaccinated. Patrick Terpstra, Newsy, Washington.